What's the, uh, you know, obviously you guys can't really do too much as a team in terms of, you know, going out after games and, and doing some stuff that might gel the team a little bit closer, but what have you guys kind of been able to do? What are the, like the kind of precautions you guys have been taking in this really strange year? Cause you obviously, you, you know, you can't hang around the locker room too much. You can't, you know, just talk with the guys as you're, as you're used to, uh, as you're used to doing. Yeah. So uh, we've had a lot of talks about that. We're taking it super seriously. Like I know every team is, but like, I, I know that da- like Dallas and Austin, the, uh, Texas here we're taking it like very seriously because uh our coach always reminds us like we're one thing away from like us getting shut down and like 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 no one wants that to happen like hockey's our livelihood but it's also our passion like we want to play like so we're doing everything we can to, like limit our chances of exposure we're masks on the whole time in the rink except for the one second where you're putting your helmet on and like uh we're kind of we're keeping our own little bubble we're only associating with uh, an immediate family who's in town or uh, our teammates. And even so it's like, I ride there with my roommate. Like we're not supposed to give rides to other guys in the team. Like we're really, really like trying to do our best to limit it. But uh, our time at the rink for practice and workouts, that's the time that we're like, we're just trying to enjoy those moments. Cause uh, it, like what happened last year, it gets taken away really quickly. So we're just trying to make the most of every day, have some fun at the rink while we can. And uh, hopefully do our best so that we don't have any complications, COVID complications during the year.